it's me Tracy and welcome to the crafty monster today I am going to show you how to make these 3d type butterflies simply by using a rubber stamp so um, this was something that I kind of tried to be creative with in the documented life um, prompt for week 20 where it where what you had to do is uh, use a stamp in a unique way and so I remember vaguely something that I learned like this at a scrapbook expo that I had gone to and I thought it was like a super cool effect and I couldn't remember exactly how they went about doing it so when I made my first butterfly I was like in awe <laughs> Because I had never attempted it before, um, but I just vaguely I remember walking by the the uh, the booth and kind of having like a very vague uh, view of what was going on because there were so many people. You know how it is at scrapbook expos; it's just kind of really super crazy with thousands of women all over the place. But I do remember seeing something like this at a scrapbook at a scrapbook expo. So let me go ahead and show you how I went about making my butterflies. So then if you are interested, then you can definitely create something like this or something similar. So let me go ahead and get started. What you are going to need are some paints. In this case, what I'm going to be using is some uh, acrylic glaze paints. Uh, this is from the Silks line. I absolutely love these paints. I'm actually running very low on these. And uh, so I'm going to need to place another order for some more colors and also for some colors that are running out. Um, but you want to use paint. Um, then, of course, you're going to want um, a stamp of choice. And then you will want an ink pad color of your choice. In this case, I am going to use black. And then what you're going to also need is some embossing powder. Now this one here is a sparkle embossing powder. And when you put this on the ink and you use your heat gun, which is right here, you'll also need one of these. What this does is it's just a sparkle. So it's not going to change the color of the ink that you've used to stamp with. Um, aside from the stamps and the paints, what you will also need is a book. This is an old book that I use and I use it as my paint palette uh, whenever I paint something in my art journal book or in my documented life planner. Um, you may recognize some of the you know colors if you belong to my Instagram page at Crafty Monster. Um, you'll recognize a few of these pages because I've taken pictures of these and uploaded them to Instagram. Um, one that you may find uh, familiar these ones here, this was from, in, I put this on Instagram and uh, some other ones. Oh, this one right here. Da, 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 da. This one right here. So I, I love, this is one of my favorite pages and I have a hard time ripping it up and doing anything with it. But anyways, aside from that, I don't want to take too much time on the paint palettes in here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and just pick a page. And now what I'm going to do, I, I like using book pages. Um, because I like to have the text in the background to just kind of add uh, to the butterfly so it's just not a solid color on the butterfly. So what you're gonna do is just go ahead and get your paint. Um, I don't use any kind of gesso or anything on my books um, or on my, book, my, on my book pages when I'm making the butterflies. I just kind of just just pick a page and go with it. And I'm just going to go ahead and do this with all of my, with my fingers. Or you can get a brush, which I'm going to do now. Just kind of, just to kind of make things go a little bit faster here. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and add in some blue. And it doesn't have to be perfect. All you're doing is just adding paint. To the pages. Mix them all up if you choose. And I'm just doing just different colors. 
no rhyme or reason, just filling up the page with the colors. And I'm not, I'm not washing off the brush because I like the combination of the colors. And I love that this kind of has like a shimmer to it. The paint does. It's really amazing paint. So it just kind of adds to the uh, butterfly once it's all done. I think I'm going to add some green here in the middle too. I'm going to use my finger just to blend it all in now, blend in all the colors. Okay, and then I'm going to go ahead and just wipe off my paintbrush here, get as much paint off that I can. All right, so that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and close all of my paints up now so they don't dry out. Now, if you're wondering what colors I've used for this page, there is Perry, uh, let's see, what is this? Perry Peridot, Perry Peridot, Plumeria, Pixie Pink, Boysenberry, and Majestic Blue. Okay, now what I'm going to do is go ahead and dry this page. So give me just a few minutes so then I can dry the page really well. Okay, once you're happy with that, now what you want to do is the reason why I keep it inside of the book when I dry it is because I don't want to heat up the uh, my desktop. So I just do all of the drying and everything with the heat gun on the book itself. Then what I'm going to do is just go ahead and tear your page out of your book. I'm going to set the book to the side. And so now you'll see how shimmery that page is with those metallic colors. Absolutely beautiful, isn't it? I love the way that this paint is. Okay, so from there, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my stamp and my ink pad. And I'm going to stamp two butterflies. Now, each two, two butterflies will give you one 3D butterfly. Okay. And then you're just going to go ahead and stamp on your page. All right. Now, what you're going to want to do is get your embossing powder and you're going to put your embossing powder over the ink okay and then just kind of swish it around and then go ahead and put the extra inside the container you don't want any to go to waste. I'm going to just go ahead and get the excess off of my page. Okay. And then again, just go ahead and pick up your paper. All right, 
there you go. That's the embossing powder. Done with that. I'm going to go ahead and bring my book back over. And now I'm going to go ahead and dry the embossing powder uh, onto the, or heat the embossing powder onto the ink. So give me just a few minutes so that I can get that done really quick. All right, so there you go. And now what you're going to want to do is just go ahead and start cutting your butterflies out. So I'm going to try to cut as close to the butterfly image as I can. That way I can make some more out of this paper right down here in this area. And I could also use the scraps onto something else. That's what I like about these pages and the ink is that it's just so beautiful that you can use it for so many different projects. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take the time now to go ahead and cut these butterflies out. So give me just a moment to go ahead and do that so that I don't bore you with the cutting out process. Okay, there's one butterfly. Okay, and there's your second butterfly. So now what you want to do is you want to decide which butterfly you want to have on the top. So I think what I'm going to do is, oh, let me see, um, kind of like in the pink and purple because Faith, my daughter, loves purple. So I'm going to go ahead and use this one right here. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get some glue. Uh, now, to save time here on this video, um, I'm not going to use just a regular glue. I am going to use my handy-dandy glue gun um, that will do an instant job for me. So let me go ahead and show you how it's done. All you have to do is just take the top butterfly off. You're going to put a strip of glue right down the middle of the butterfly, right down the body. And then you're going to place the top butterfly on top the best you can. Go ahead and press the body down on the top. Go ahead and clean away any glue that may be on there. That's showing, so I'm just going to go ahead and cut away that glue. Okay, and then once you're done, then what you're going to do is you're just going ahead, you're going to go ahead and flip the wings on top. Just the top. And that's what will give you the effect that the butterfly is flying. Isn't that beautiful? Love it. So then what you could do now is just go ahead and place that right onto your page, your art journal book, or your mixed media, or whatever it is that you're wanting to put the butterfly on. Um, if you all, Another thing that you can do if you want to kind of make it like a little pizzazz, then what you can do is you can also get like a, a paint pen in this case. And what I'm going to do is just go ahead and put like some dots going down the middle just to give it a little something something. Um, you can also, you know, kind of put some over here on the side. Like over here. Some over here. Over here. Just to give it a little, a, a little extra something. So there you go. That is your butterfly. So see how you can see the book pages in the background, the verbiage, um, and then the just the butter, the beautiful glimmers from the the sparkles from the glitter, and then also down on the bottom. Okay, so that is the end of the tutorial. I hope you liked 
the process of how these are made. If you do, please like this video and let me know that you liked it by leaving a comment down below. I would really appreciate it. Um, it definitely motivates me to continue making more tuto tutorials for you guys upon your request. I had a lot of people asking me how to make these butterflies. So if you like the video, please give me a thumbs up, a like, and leave a comment down below and let me know if you give these a try, what you thought, if it was easy or hard for you. Uh, leave a comment down below just to say hi. That would be awesome too. Um, and if you are new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe. And if you like this tutorial, this video, and my channel, then please do not forget to share. So until next time, thank you so much, everybody, for watching. And I will be talking to you soon. Happy crafting.